Having quality audio in your podcast and video is one of the best ways to keep your audience retention. If your audio is bad, many people will simply not listen to your podcast or view your video. Rather than using your camera's built-in microphone, you can use an external microphone with your camera's input microphone jack either wired or wirelessly, using a wireless microphone system. Or, use external audio altogether, completely untethered from your video camera, without the use of wired or wireless system connected to your video camera. Zoom makes great digital recorders that can be used to record external audio to sync with your camera audio when editing the video. The Zoom H1N is great as a small digital recorder that can record with its built-in microphone or able to plug in a shotgun or lapel microphone having a 3.5mm jack. The Zoom H5 is a good choice when you want to use a XLR microphone for recording. For 32-bit float recording, Zoom offers the Zoom F2 and Zoom F6 digital recorders. All Zoom digital recorders shown here have XLR microphone inputs, except the Zoom F1 SP, F1 LP, F2, H3 VR, H2N, and the H1N which have 3.5mm microphone inputs. When syncing external audio with camera audio, sometimes people experience audio drift over long recordings. The standard audio sample rate for video is 48 kHz. Audio drift might be caused by very small differences in the sample rate between different computers and digital audio recorders, as well as recording audio at 41.1 kHz rather than recording audio at the video standard sample rate of 48 kHz. However, as a practice, to not be concerned with possible audio drift, record the original recording on your external digital recorder in a sample rate of 48 kHz, or a higher multiple of 48 kHz, like 96 kHz, 192 kHz, etc., and use a quality digital recorder. Video editing software has made it very easy to sync audio recorded externally with a digital audio recorder with the audio recorded by the video camera. DaVinci Resolve is an excellent video editor and allows you to easily sync audio. DaVinci Resolve is available in a free version and a paid version. At the time of this video, the paid version had a one-time price of $295. To download the free version or see how to purchase the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, go to www.blackmagicdesign.com. The following includes step-by-step -step instructions how you can sync audio recorded externally with a digital audio recorder with the audio recorded by the video camera. These step-by-step -step instructions include how to sync audio files manually, as well as how to use DaVinci Resolve's AutoSync Audio to automatically sync the audio files. First demonstration will be how to manually sync the audio files, followed by a demonstration how to use DaVinci Resolve's AutoSync Audio to automatically sync the audio files. This is DaVinci Resolve, opened at the Edit tab. Two files, a video entitled Two Birds and an audio file entitled Digital Recorder have been imported into DaVinci Resolve. You can see a video file and audio file in the media pool. You can sync audio by either manually aligning the digital audio recorder, audio track with the video camera, audio track, or use DaVinci Resolve's auto sync audio feature to automatically sync the digital recorder audio with video camera audio. I will demonstrate both methods of syncing audio manually and automatically. First, I will demonstrate how to sync the audio manually. Add the video to the timeline by either dragging the video to the timeline or dragging the video to the timeline monitor to place on top. Now that we have placed the video on the timeline, we also need to place the digital recorder audio on the timeline. Position your playhead where you want the audio file to be placed on the timeline. You can either drag the playhead to a position on your timeline or if the audio file is to be placed at the beginning of the timeline, press the home key on your keyboard to move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline.
Next, also place the digital recorder audio on the timeline by either dragging the audio file to the timeline or dragging the audio file to the timeline monitor to place on top. You will notice three high audio waves at the beginning and the end of the video audio track, as well as the digital recorder audio track. When you first start recording on both your video camera and digital audio recorder, while the digital recorder and video camera are in close proximity to each other, loudly clap three times with your hands, or clap three times using a clapboard, like is used in movie directing to make three loud sounds. Also, at the end of the video, record three loud claps while the digital recorder and video camera are in close proximity to each other. The three high audio waves will be used to line up the video audio with the digital recorder audio. The reason for the three claps at the end of the recording is to check to see if there was any audio drift somewhere from the beginning of the audio to the end of the audio. If the three wave form spikes match up at the beginning of the audio, and the three wave form spikes match up at the end of the audio, that means there was no drift in your audio, and the audio from your digital recorder will be in perfect sync with the audio on your camera's recorder. DaVinci Resolve's AutoSync Audio does such a great job in syncing audio, most likely you will find you will not have to use claps to sync audio when only using the AutoSync Audio. If the audio is very quiet, or you want to manually sync audio, you may want to add three claps to help auto-sync audio work more efficiently or to be able to manually sync the audio by lining up the three claps. You notice here that the three claps in the beginning of each audio track are not lined up with the other audio track. Each time, how you line up the audio may be different depending on the length of each audio file. If possible, try and start the digital audio recording and video camera at the same time so the audio tracks will be close to the same length. You can see that the digital recorder audio track needs to be dragged over to the left to match up the three claps. Since the digital audio track is longer in the front of the file, I will use Blade to remove the front of the digital audio track so I can drag it to the left to be able to line up the three claps. Blade is turned on when this razor blade icon is red. You can click on the razor blade to turn it on or press the letter B on your keyboard. And to turn the razor blade off, press the letter A on your keyboard. So, I will turn razor blade on and then click on the track where I want the track sliced with razor blade. I am going to slice it just before the first clap. Then, right-click on the part of the audio file to be cut and select Cut. To turn off Razor Blade, I will press the letter A on my keyboard. Now, after the cut was made, we now have room to drag our digital recorder audio track to line it up with the video camera audio track. To drag the track, simply place your cursor on the track to be dragged and hold down your left mouse button while dragging the file. Line up the three claps at the beginning of both audio files. If the three claps at the end of the audio are in alignment, after aligning the three claps at the beginning, it signifies that the entire audio file is synced perfectly from the beginning of the audio to the ending of the audio with no audio drift issues. Next, Either mute the video camera audio track by clicking on mute or delete the video camera audio track by right-clicking here on the video camera audio track and selecting delete track. That is how you can manually sync an audio track recorded on a digital audio recorder with the audio track recorded on the video camera. Okay, now, here is how to use DaVinci Resolve's AutoSync Audio to automatically sync the audio recorded on a digital audio recorder with the audio recorded on a video camera. This is DaVinci Resolve, opened at the Edit tab. Two files, a video entitled, Two Birds, 
and an audio file entitled Digital Recorder have been imported into DaVinci Resolve. You can see a video file and audio file in the media pool. Select both the video file and audio file. An easy way to select multiple files is to hold down your left mouse button and drag over the files you want selected. Next, right-click on any of the selected files and choose Autosync Audio and either choose based on waveform to only keep the digital recorder audio and choose based on waveform and append tracks if you want to append the digital recorder's audio to the video camera audio. I will choose based on waveform and append tracks. Now, add the video to the timeline by either dragging the video to the timeline or dragging the video to the timeline monitor to place on top. I will press Shift Z on my keyboard to be able to view the entire video on the same screen. The first audio track is the audio recorded on the video camera. And the second audio track is the audio recorded on the digital recorder. One reason you might want to sync using based on waveform and append tracks rather than based on waveform so you can make sure that the audio tracks did sync properly. And by seeing that the three claps at the beginning and end of the audio are now lined up, you know that the audio did sync properly. The other reason to use based on waveform and append tracks is that you might want to keep the original audio track recorded on the video camera. If you had chosen based on waveform rather than based on waveform and append tracks, the video would only have the digital audio recorder track. At this point, you will want to mute the audio recorded by the video camera or you can delete the track entirely by placing your cursor here, right-clicking and select Delete Track. That's all there is to it. Your digital audio recorder's audio is now synced with your video camera audio. Thanks for watching. Please check out our website, opportuno.org, for more items that may be of interest to you. That is spelled O P O R T U N O dot o r g thank you